Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. Well, sometimes in trying to do one thing, you end up having to do another. By mounting a jewelry rack on this door, I've created a heavier load situation on the door than what it was designed for. So the springs in the hinges that are supposed to hold it closed aren't doing the job anymore. So now I'm going to put some magnetic latches on the door panels. Went to, down to the local Wally World and got two magnetic latches, one for each side. We'll mount those up today. That should take care of the problem. I'm just going to use the existing two holes for the first holes to get the latches mounted up semi-securely. Make sure that I'm going to clear line up okay yep I got enough room in there that's good just in case you're wondering this is called a Bulldog Hardware Magnetic Catch it's a part number 1924606 and it has this nifty little mounting directions on the back which I'm not going to follow that closely but I am going to do the same thing What I did, I just took the striker plate, stuck it on the magnet, closed the door, and reached through that hole with a screw, described to mark there on the face of the door. Now because this is just a tiny little screw, I'm going to drill a pilot hole into the door on both sides. I'm going to put a second screw on these magnetic latches. To do that, I'm going to drill a pilot hole. I'm going to use this little hex mounted screw with the impact driver. I've been told that you're not supposed to use a drill bit with an impact driver, but it works really well. And I suppose if I'm careful, I won't explode or burn up, but I'm sure some lawyer somewhere said, don't do that. Same thing on this side. Double check the location of these little striker plates.
Now I could measure this whole thing out and be absolutely sure that uh, I have measured exactly down to the tenth where the screws are going to go. But if I mark it out this way, I know that's where the screw is going to go. And I could use an egg beater drill. But with this thing being up in the air like this, it's kind of hard to hold the egg beater drill and crank and hold the door at the same time. I could use an egg beater drill, but with this being up in the air like this, it's kind of hard to hold the egg beater drill up in the air and crank while I'm holding the door. here against the, the door itself, put the screw in it, I'm going to give you guys two guesses who suggested this project. But if any of you guys have a suggestion for a new video or a project that you'd like to see me try, or if you have a question about today's video or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments below. You know, I read them all. Thanks for watching.